Expert eyes from across the world surveying the largest river-based revegetation project in Australia. Their visit part of the Species on the Move International Conference, which will see more than 250 scientists discussing the impacts of climate change on global environments. They come from all over the world, from South Africa, from um, UK, from US, from all over the place, and they have similar problems elsewhere. Uh, our issues in Tasmania are not isolated. Finding new ways to adapt land management and conservation practices seen firsthand, with the beginnings of a wildlife corridor between the eastern and western tiers. Researchers and industry partners reconnecting blocks of forest with 620 hectares planted in the multi-decade project. It's really enabling species such as birds and mammals to cross that landscape, but in time we'll probably see some of the vegetation communities move a little, a little as well in, um, in response to climate change. We've achieved a lot in terms of uh, river quality and um, reintroducing natives back into a landscape that's been farmed for 200 years and um, is in need of some conservation. Species redistribution in marine environments also under the microscope, including the significant decline of giant kelp in Tasmania. The species that are shifting and changing range from uh, diseases, uh, viruses, uh, microscopic animals, uh, plankton for example, right through to, to the, our, our largest animals and including humans. How nature is responding to climate change will be discussed at a public forum at the Hobart Grand Chancellor from 8pm tonight, leading into the beginning of the international conference starting tomorrow. Holly Monnery, Southern Cross News.